Hi there, I'm Aaron, one of the developers of the My ASC Profiles portal. This video is an introduction to the new custom trims features that we have just launched for 2018, and it assumes you already have some basic familiarity with the rest of the site. If not, don't worry, it's fairly straightforward. Let's get started. First, let's click on Trims. Here you will see the standard trims as usual, however, there are now two new tabs at the top, XY Trims and Fully Custom Trims. Let's start with XY Trims. Here you see our regular XY trims that you may already be familiar with. I will just select the first one. I'm going to go ahead and pick a gauge, and you will see that the available colors for that gauge automatically fill in. Once I select a color, you can see that the diagram changes in response. The trim diagram itself is somewhat interactive. You can zoom in and out with your mouse's scroll wheel, as well as these plus and minus buttons. To zoom back into normal, click the magnifying glass. You can also pan around the drawing, by dragging with the right mouse button, or these four arrow buttons. Again, to go back to normal, click the magnifying glass. Our XY trims are built out of several locked attributes, as well as special attributes that can be modified. In both cases, you can see that as I move my mouse over the list of attributes, they get highlighted in yellow on the diagram. For leg options that you can change, you can either click into the box and type a new value, click the spinners for minor adjustments, or click and hold the spinner buttons to rapidly change the values. Note that the girth is recalculated below as you do this. For angle options, you click the drop down and select the desired value. If you press the up or down arrows on your keyboard, that will also change the values. This diagram is intended to make it easy to verify that your XY trim has been specified correctly, as well as see what your trim looks like with accurate scale. However, if you would like to also see a simulation of what the final product would look like in the real world, the 3D view does just that. The left mouse button rotates your perspective. The right mouse button pans your view, while the wheel zooms in and out. Okay, let's change the painted color to Denali Green instead. If you change your mind about anything, the 3D view will update, and you can see those changes pretty quickly. If you find that the computer you are using struggles with the detail of the 3D HD view, you could opt for a less pretty but slightly faster regular 3D view instead. Let's switch back to the diagram view and make sure that the numbers line up. Alright, I'm happy with this one. Let's wrap it up. I just need 10 of these today. Let's see how much that costs. Looks good. Add to cart. If we go take a look at our cart, we see the line item we just added. You can click on the thumbnail, as usual, and see a close-up of the diagram. If you notice something that needs to be changed, click the Modify button, make your changes, and update the cart. That's it for XY trims. Let's jump over to Fully Custom Trims. You'll see that, for the most part, this looks a lot like XY trims, so I'll start it in the same way, selecting Gauge and Color. Now let's make something unique that doesn't appear in the XY trims. I'm going to add a couple of lengths, which are created, preset to 2 inches long, and with a 135 degree clockwise inside angle. As before, I can change the lengths by either typing them in, clicking the spinners for discrete adjustments, or pressing and holding to rapidly change them. The same goes for the angle adjustments. But what if I want the angle to go the other way? You may have spotted this in the previous example, but all we have to do is make this negative by typing a dash in front of the number. This gets us to the shape that we need. Now let's hem both ends. There are both regular closed hems as well as open hooks, and they can be applied in either orientation. In this case, I'll start with a hook, and end with a reversed closed hem. This diagram makes it clear what sort of hem has been selected and if it's facing in the right way. Keep in mind that adding a hem increases the overall girth. While this method is very precise, there's also a quicker way to get the basic shape of your custom trim into the system. I'll just remove these lengths to show you what I mean. I'm going to mouse wheel zoom out, give myself a little room, and then just click where I want the new lengths to meet up. It's a bit like drawing a picture. If I overdo it, I can always just undo the last bit and try again. Now this seems very close to what I want, but maybe I want to turn it so that it makes more sense to me. So I'll just use the rotation spinners. I still need to shrink this horizontal section. 
but now the labels are a little too close for comfort. So let's just flip them around. It's nearly perfect, aside from the fact that I ended up with the paint on the wrong side, as verified by the painted side indicator. This brings us to the paint on drop down, which lets us easily switch this around. And I will check it out in 3D just to make sure it looks the way I imagined. Keep in mind, this version of the tool is still somewhat naive about what kind of trims are actually possible to be manufactured in the real world. While we're looking at ways to improve this, for now, just do your best to specify realistic values. In any case, your custom trim will still be inspected by a human prior to manufacture. It looks reasonable to me, so I'll set my quantity and check the price. While optional, it is strongly recommended that you go ahead and give your custom trim a descriptive name that makes sense to you, so that you can tell it apart from any other custom trims you may order. Now we're ready to add to cart. And there it goes. If you still need to make another one in a single order, feel free to stay on this screen, clear any values that aren't the same, and start over. The item you've just created is still safe in your cart. Remember, if you need to change anything already in the cart, the Modify button is there for you. And with that, we're at the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and feel free to let us know how it goes for you. We hope these new features help you streamline the process of ordering custom trims and makes your day a little easier.